Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, so that means another 10 minute Tuesday. And tonight I'm going to talk about a tip that might be something helpful for your healthy habit toolbox. And it might be something you've never heard of, or if you have heard of it, you've always wondered, okay, what the heck are they talking about? And this is called dry skin brushing. And this is something that I probably heard about maybe a year or two ago. And about six months ago, uh, last fall, I decided, hey, um, I've heard enough about this. I did, did a little bit of research into, into the benefits of dry skin brushing. And maybe I'll just go ahead and try it out for myself and see what I think of it. So I wanted to start with um, what is dry skin brushing? <laughs> how can it benefit us? And then my recommendations on how to get started doing it if you're curious to see if it might be something that would be good for your health and wellness. So um, what it does is basically exfoliates your skin and you use a, a brush, which I'll show you the, the set that I have. Um, but it's our skin is such an important organ in our body, and it's actually the largest one. And it's made up of three different layers. So we have the epidermis, which is the top layer. We have the dermis, which is the middle layer. And then we have what's called the subcutaneous fat layer, which is underneath that helps keep us warm. So I'm not gonna go into all the details of what all the different skin layers do for our bodies. Um, you can look that up yourself if you're interested. But basically, those three layers do different things and they also contain sweat glands, they contain blood vessels, lots of nerve endings. Our skin is really important for our health and wellness. And our epidermis, the top layer, actually has special cells that are part of our immune system and help us stay healthy. So it's important for us to keep our, our skin in good working condition as well. Um, our, our skin also is helpful for elimination and detoxification using the lymphatic system. So I'll go over that in just a minute here, uh, what the lymphatic system means to me. And um, the cells in the upper skin layer also are constantly being created and are renewing themselves anywhere from between every 10 to 30 days. So basically the upper layer of your skin, the epidermis, at the very bottom of that layer, your, your skin cells start to recreate themselves. And as, the, as your skin ages, those cells move themselves to the top layer and they flake off and they go away and they're just replaced by, continually replaced by new skin cells. Um, so the, that happens every 10 to 30 days, just depending on different conditions in your body. But um, why, how would dry brushing kind of help us and benefit our skin? So dry brushing, um, as opposed to kind of like a wet brushing in the shower, uh, dry brushing is beneficial because it helps uh, exfoliate your skin without actually overdoing it and kind of drying it back out. So a lot of us are trying to keep moisture in our skin, not have that dry, itchy feeling. So uh, sometimes exfoliation in a wet environment can actually cause uh, too much uh, too much agitation, too much moisture to be leaving your body. So the dry skin brushing helps do that um, and avoid some of the moisture uh, leaving your skin. And the exfoliation that's done during dry skin brushing helps us shed dead skin cells, like I mentioned, as they move to the top layer. The dry brushing can help kind of slough them off. Um, and it encourages new cell renewal, which can lead to smoother and brighter skin. So the exfoliation also helps get rid of dry and itchy skin. Again, those kind of those dead skin cells that are that are moving towards the top could be causing some issues if they're not moisturized. Um, it can also help unclog our pores. So our pores can just get you know totally inundated with either dead skin cells or cosmetics or outside pollutants, depending on what we come in contact to every day. And uh, exfoliation of them in general can just help uh, unclog those pores. Can also help with ingrown hairs. So if you're somebody that's prone to ingrown hairs, this could be a good solution for you. Um, the dry skin brushing also helps improve, uh, improve your blood circulation. So your, your lots of blood goes throughout your skin layers as well too. So this can help kind of just move it all back to your heart where, and pump it to the different parts of your body that need it. And it also helps improve our lymphatic drainage. So our lymphatic system uh, may be a part of your body that you've never heard about or don't even know what it does. Um, but if you ever go to the doctor, they kind of, they're, they usually check some of the lymph nodes that are around your, your head and neck if you have a cold or something, some other illness happening. So there's tons of lymph nodes all around our body and our lymphatic system is basically a network of tissues and organs that help rid your body of toxins and waste and other unwanted materials. So it's important to keep that in good working order as well. And the primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph fluid throughout your body. 
And what this lymph fluid is doing um, it is it, it contains white blood cells that help fight infection. So anytime you get you know a scrape on your skin or you contract something, your lymphatic fluid is actually flowing to that part of your body, helping to kind of uh, team up and get rid of that as fast as possible. So our lymphatic fluid is very important, and our lymphatic system helps do that for us. Um, and then one of my other uh, favorite parts of um, dry brushing is it stimulates nerve endings. So uh, it helps just wake you up and like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I'm really not a morning person. I do other tips and tricks to help myself get up in the morning, but once I'm up, sometimes my body is still pretty sluggish. Well, this dry skin brushing really just perks you up. Um, because the exfoliation on your skin helps get your nerve endings firing, helps everything start to wake up. Um, your, your, your skin will get like bright and pink and your body is saying, hey, I'm ready to wake up even if your brain's not sometimes. So it can be helpful for that. So how do you do skin brushing? I'm going to show you what I have here for a set. Um, you need to use a natural stiff bristled brush. Most of them look like this. And this is has boar bristles. And in the video, or in, uh, sorry, in the links to the comments, I'm going to share uh, the set that I bought, or at least a similar one. I got it off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I think it was 10 to 15 bucks. Um, but you need a natural uh, bristled brush for the, for the skin brushing. And you do it on your skin before showering or bathing. Like I mentioned, it's great to do it uh, while your skin is dry um, so that you can get the most benefits from the dry skin brushing. And what you do is you start at your feet and you move either in circular motions or long strokes and you're, you're going over the same spot maybe two to three times maximum and you're just brushing your way up your body and you're brushing towards your heart. And what that's doing is helping that blood go back to your heart, improving that uh, vascular blood circulation and just move that blood where it needs to go. And the lymphatic system actually goes to that same spot too. So it's moving all that stuff back towards your heart. Now, once you get up your legs, you know, you work up your, your backside, uh, your arms, you're still brushing everything towards your heart, back of your neck even. And now on the sensitive parts of your skin, because we all have sensitive skin in certain areas of our bodies, we need to be very gentle. So we might not either, we might not brush those at all, or we might just take it really easy on those. And that'll kind of um, come out of trying it out for yourself and deciding, okay, that was a little too sensitive, or maybe you have broken skin or some skin issues happening. Um, just avoiding certain sensitive areas is always helpful um, to make it more comfortable for you. So my recommendations for dry skin brushing are to get a good brush set. And uh, mine had came with three different brushes, and I'll share the link like I mentioned, but it came with this one, just a regular one that you can uh, you can just grab it, you can use the little strap. Um, it also came with an extender, so this will fit into the back of this little one. And if you're not a very flexible person, uh, this can help uh, get all the spots on your back that you need to exfoliate, so that's really helpful. I also have this one that's kind of a, um, you know, notched or offset brush. And I'm pretty flexible, so I can actually reach most of my back with this one alone. I don't usually have to use the extender. And my set also came with a tiny little facial brush. So um, this is great because, you know, a lot of times we spend a lot of time uh, uh, on our facial skin, but we kind of pay, don't pay attention to the rest of our skin on our body, which that's really important for our health and wellness. So this little one too is great for just your, uh, your facial skin. And I use it very gently. I have kind of problematic skin. So, but this really helps unclog pores, get off those dead skin cells, especially if you're a woman who wears makeup, this can be really great for making sure your skin is just kind of top notch. Um, and then, uh, if you're not used to exfoliating, my recommendation would be to start a system that's really slow and be very gentle. So you don't want your skin coming out of this kind of right, um, red and irritated and hurting at all. Um, you can always add more pressure, but start lightly and just uh, move your way through your body. You know, when I first started, uh, my ankles were pretty sensitive, so I was barely even touching those. And now I can kind of press down, you know, more and more as I go. And um, the idea is just to get every spot on your body. It's not to get everything really hard, but make sure you reach every, every skin spot on your body. And then um, I really have no recommendations of as far as how many times you should do this a week. Some people say once a week, some people say twice a week, three times. Um, I kind of do it when I remember, but basically my routine is to do it uh, in the morning, right before I jump in the shower, actually while my shower water is heating up, 
um, and it takes me about five minutes tops. And so if I remember it every day of the week, I do it every day of the week. Um, that's kind of up to you guys how much you feel like you need the dry skin brushing and how much it's going to help you. Um, so that's kind of just up to you as you as you try it out and see how it goes. And uh, my, my last recommendation would be if you're going to try the dry skin brushing, um, you know, look up all the benefits, see what, um, which ones might be helpful to you, and then try it for at least 30 to 60 days because as I mentioned, the top layer of your skin takes at least 10 to 30 days to regenerate itself. So if you don't go for at least 30 days, you might not actually see all the benefits that you would have if you had gone for that full period of time. Now, 60 days would be even better because by then you'd maybe a set, a, a set yourself a routine and a habit every morning to try it out. Um, and then you can really decide if, if dry skin brushing is something that works for you, that's helpful for your health and wellness, or at least it, you tried it out and you can make recommendations to somebody else um, to see if it might help them too with some issue that they're dealing with. So that's it on dry skin brushing. Hope that was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if you tried it out yourself. I'd be curious to see um, how you've used it and if it's helped you out with anything specific. And that's all for tonight. See you guys again next Tuesday for another 10 Minute Tuesday. Bye!